Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Share and Knowledge Video Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix the error cannot open folders on double click in Windows 10, 8 or 7. The error cannot open folders on double click is a common issue faced mainly by Windows 10, 8, 7 and XP users. There are many useful methods to resolve this issue. Hence, we will show you 5 methods to fix this error. Follow the video instructions to see which methods finally help you fix the problem and regain access to your files and folders. That is what we are going to do. So watch the video and subscribe channel. Okay? Let's start. Follow these steps. Solution number 1. Check the Windows security system. Open the Windows settings by pressing Windows logo key plus I. Then scroll down and select update and security. Then select Windows security. Next, go to right pan, then click on Open Windows Security tab. It will open Windows Security Home screen. On the Windows Security Home screen, select Virus and Threat Protection. Next, under Virus and Threat Protection settings, find the option Manage Settings and then click on it. Then scroll down to find for the Manage Controlled Folder Access and open it. Next, under Controlled Folder Access, toggle switch if it's on, turn it off make sure is it off okay that's it once complete close the window refresh your pc to take effect after the refresh your problem must be resolved okay in case if this method does not work for you follow the next method solution number two check the mouse settings on the file explorer options open the search box by pressing windows logo key plus q then type file explorer option into the search box and hit enter to open file explorer option on the general tab under click items as follows make sure this default settings if it's incorrect choose double click to open an items then click on apply and click on ok after this process refresh your pc to take effect after the refresh your problem must be resolved if this solution does not work for you, follow the next solution. Solution number 3. Check the registry entries. Open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R and then type reg edit into the dialog box and hit enter to open registry editor. On the registry editor, select HKEY current user and expand it. Then select the control panel and expand it. Then select mouse. Next, go to right pan and then right click on the mouse hover height key and select the modify. Then change its value data as for and click on OK. And then next, right click on the mouse hover width key and select the modify. Then change its value data as for and click on OK. Once complete, close the registry editor and refresh your PC to take effect. After the refresh, your problem must be resolved. Okay. If this solution does not work for you, follow the next solution. Next is solution number four. Change shell value data in registry editor. Basically what it will do is it will change a value in the registry. It will start working again on your computer. Open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R and then type reg edit into the dialog box and hit enter to open registry editor. On the registry editor, select HKEY classes root and expand it. Then next, scroll down the list of HKEY classes root until you find either directory key folder and expand it. Then select shell. Next, go to right pan and then right click on the default key and select modify then change its value data as non and o n e and click on ok once complete the process close the registry editor and refresh your pc to take effect hopefully now you can open any folder on your computer now our effort successful we are done successful this solution if this solution does not work for you, follow the next solution. Solution number 5. Run SFC scan using command prompt. If you think the issue has been caused by the corrupted system file, then you should consider using SFC scan to scan the system files and fix any corrupted files on your PC. Let's see how to run SFC scan using command prompt. Open the search box from the taskbar. 
then type cmd in the search box in the search results you will see command prompt then right click on the command prompt and then select run as administrator in the command prompt field type sfc face forward slash scan now and hit enter it will take 10 or 15 minutes it will scan all protected system files and replace corrupted files with a cached copy that is located in a compressed folder at windows that's all thanks for watching and supporting i hope this video helped for you so please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have any issues so please let me know in the comment section below your contribution is more confidence please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos once again thanks for watching and supporting see you next video bye take care